we're back. Working on the WJ Black Tragic 2.0. The last video we made a tire carrier out of Unistrut. If you haven't seen it, go watch it if you want. You don't have to. Made this fancy tire carrier out of Unistrut. What are we doing on this project? Tactical storage modular carrier system over here for tools. I'm going to put my subwoofer on there. We showed you that in the last video. On this side, using Unistrut. The wonderful Unistrut. As stated before in the last video, this stuff here is pretty modular. It's wonderful. Um, even though we really didn't utilize any of that modularity on the tire carrier, everything got welded. You possibly could have put that together just using bolts and brackets that you can buy for Unistrut stuff if you didn't have a welder. But we're going to weld up the base parts, the parts that are going to stay that are never going to move. I weld those up and then maybe we'll show you some of how modular this Unistrut stuff is. As usual, this is galvanized Unistrut, so when welding this, don't uh, breathe the fumes in because it is poisonous. Alright, so let's give you a brief overview of what I've already done. Alright, so on the tire carrier, we mounted it to the bolts on the bottom where your uh, tie down straps of some sort, some sort of tie down thing. Um, drilled those holes out. They're riveted through. Pounded the rivets through. We'll run bolts through here. This side here you can't get to, so you gotta tech screw that. Mount a plate, run this unit strut all the way down. That's going to be our base foundation. On the tire side, we have the CD changer bolts sticking out of the side that we were able to utilize. This side we do not have, so I had to come up with something else. Let me see if I can get this in the picture. Here's the trim piece. I'm not going to fit that down anyhow. So this has got a nice flat spot here. That would have been convenient to run a piece of unit strut. Unfortunately, the metal on the back side has a big hole right there. There's nowhere to bolt to. So I came and I drilled four holes roughly in that plastic that'll come through and that will hold a piece of unistrut like so that will be our top support that comes through on this little channel on the inside which is not super straight so I'm gonna have to finagle that But this will sit on the plastic outside. I may have to put some kind of spacer in between. And run these, this all thread. I can get to the back, put bolts, nuts on the back. I'm gonna run this all thread through and it will come through those bolts, through those holes on the trim and bolt to the Unistrut. That's how we're gonna secure it on the side. Be careful drilling. You've obviously got all these wires then you've got this side glass you got to be careful with too so be careful pay attention to what you're doing so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom piece get my tabs on there get that secured and we'll go from there
for our final install we'll come back through and cut these off flush with this unit strut just need to get it up there and mounted so we can get it all welded in once we get this bottom piece done all right we are building a budget rack using a bunch of budget tools that there is a harbor freight welding table we've got the uh, titanium mig 170 back there in the back welding with 220 volt 035 flux core wire it is windy out here so it's a good day to actually run flux core What are we looking like? What are we looking like? So I've got a bunch of spacers in here to lift this subwoofer box up. I'm gonna get me a couple measurements. We had to clear this wheel well over here. Unistrut's gonna go underneath. It's gonna come straight down. So we had to space that woofer box where we want it, take some measurements, make us a little uh, base. No pun intended, make us a little base. Make us a little base for the base box. And it will weld into that bottom support, etc., etc. And I'm thinking we'll make this shovel go somewhere at the bottom once we get those boards out of there and then our axe hatchet will go up top somewhere capiche All right, let me show you what we're looking like here. Okay, I'm thinking about putting the shovel right there. I'm gonna run me a bar, a couple bars right here so we can secure it. I'm thinking about putting a hatchet right here. Sub box is sitting up there. It will get bolted down to our framework here. That's what we got. Tied in, will be tied in. So it'll bolt there, bolt there, bolt over there. And I probably run some supports up so I got some more stuff coming up top so we could add something else there down the road. So let's add those bars to secure our hatchet and secure the shovel. Hi. Show you this one more time before we button it up. I'm going to paint this, clean it, clean all the edges, all the sharp parts, round it out. Got our final. So you can see we got, I went up above the speaker box. That way we can uh, come back later and put something up there, maybe a first aid kit or some extra bags or some extra storage something I've also got these two here they go up and over on the tire side I did the same thing I don't know if I can get that in the camera or not we got those over there same spacing that way if I want to come back eventually after I get the uh, roof liner in I can run two bars across from one side to another and that'll add some extra storage options or something or I don't have to either way uh, paint this up 
I will we'll get it painted up and installed. I'll show you how I'm going to mount our hatchet, Harbor Freight hatchet, and our Harbor Freight shovel to these beams. So let's get it off, cleaned up on the bottom. I've got these tabs for the sub to bolt to. So let's get it cleaned up and painted up and installed. <clears throat> All right, there you folks have it. Tactical. Tactical. Got our tactical setup over here. Okay. What did we use to mount the hatchet in the shovel? We use these things called Quick Fist. Get them off of Amazon. Quick Fist. Pack of two for like ten bucks. They screw to whatever you screw them to, and then you can clamp them down. Yeah. Clamp them down. Okay? So that's what we used. It's getting dark out. Uh, this took me about two days, roughly, to get completed. Like I said, if I want to, I can do a piece that extends across over here to the tire carrier side. And we can have even more places to put stuff in the WJ Black Tragic 2.0. Thanks for watching. Tactical storage. Like I said, we could put more stuff up there in the future.